An IBEW lineman here in the U.S. uses top-of-the-line equipment to get their job done safely and efficiently. But around the world, access to the right tools and the right training isn't always easily accessible. For this edition of IBEW News Briefs, we want to highlight an IBEW member group, Electrical Workers Without Borders. For the last uh, three years, we've been taking teams to Suriname, uh, South America, to both work with and provide training for um, our linemen brothers in Suriname. Uh, additionally, uh, we've had a lot of help and, and support from guys back here in the States, from people back here in the States, who gather donated safety equipment that um, can be sent to somebody in the developing world. They shared knowledge about personal protective ground practices, hand line use, aerial emergency rescue, pole climbing, rigging, and so much more. There were some interesting surprises along the way as well. Some of the surprising things were plants that grew out of electrical conductors. I've never um, seen plants sprout and grow to the length of uh, a meter or sometimes even two meters uh, from what, what we call Acer. I've never seen uh, sloth removal techniques. So in Suriname, uh, South America, sloths uh, kind of have a, a stronghold because 90% of the country is unspoiled wilderness. So the linemen down there have developed a number of different ways of getting sloths down off the line. As for more trips to other countries, this is just the beginning for this group and other IBEW groups to follow. Number one, I would like every single member of the IBEW, if they felt so compelled, to have an opportunity to connect with a brother or a sister in the global village and to work alongside them and to share knowledge, to share solidarity, and to share a deeper understanding of the human uh, experience. Hansen believes that electrical workers should be responding to natural disasters and that members should rise up in solidarity and human compassion by participating in electrical restoration. Engineers have done it, doctors have done it, scholars have done it, poets have done it, artists have done it. It's time electrical workers do it. For more information on Electrical Workers Without Borders, go to ewwbna.org. That's it for this edition of IBEW Hour Power News Briefs. I'm Erica McClarity. See you next time.